Hey guys, welcome to Rebecca's Reviews. Tonight we're going to talk about a new author. His name is Carver Pike. So far I've only read two of his novels, A Foreign Evil, The Diablo Snuff Book 1, and The Grindhouse, Diablo Snuff Book 2. Of course, obviously it's a series, but they both have a completely different vibe about them. In Book 1, A Foreign Evil, we meet a character by the name of Michael. He's in Panama with his buddies for a bachelor bachelor party. He's at a restaurant, actually a diner, and he meets a woman by the name of Isabel. They hit it off. They chat it up. One thing leads to another, and after a bunch of drinks and a bunch of dancing, they end up together, obviously, in bed. She takes him to a place called a push button. Being that he's not from the area, of course, he asks her, where's the best place to go? And she says, just take me here. So, it's kind of a garage. They walk in. There's a back door. You push a button, put some money through a slot, and bam, the door opens. And guess what? You have a bed. There's a bed, TV, bathroom, you know, all the basics that are in your standard hookup room. So, they get down to it. They start, obviously, you know, what they're going to do. But it turns violent. And being that it's a snuff that's not really unexpected but he sees violence on the tv around him even though he knows he should stop he's in pain he's bleeding she's basically like brutally slashing him throughout the entire thing he wants to stop but something is overwhelming him and he just can't i don't want to tell you all the details because there's a lot that happens in between a lot more detail that's just it kind of adds, well, it does add to the story, tells you what's going on in the inner workings. And if I told you all of it, you know, it would just flat out ruin it. But I will say it's a great book and a great beginning to the series. It instantly tells you what's going on, what Diablo Snuff is, and of course that, you know what, they're not done yet. So we move on to book two, The Grind House. This one has an incredibly different vibe about it. You meet a character by the name of Tobias. T.K. Tantrum is his pen name. He's been bought a ticket as a gift to go to a writer's author's retreat of some sort. So he goes to this place called the Georgina. Georgina Hotel, excuse me. He's wanted to go there forever. It's where his uh, role model went. He wrote his great book released it to the public, all was well. So Tobias thinks, you know what? If I can go there, I can do the same thing. I can release this great novel. Of course, he meets a beautiful woman in the process. But before we get into that, you have to understand this is not what he expected. When he goes, he thinks, I'll be in my room. I'll meet a couple of other cool authors and we'll all just kind of do our thing and we'll write. That's not how it pans out. In this one, when he first goes in, he automatically feels off. Things don't feel normal. He's not sure what's happening. He can't get a total grasp on what the vibe is around him. They have a mixer the first night where they all meet, and it's not what he expected. It's literally all about sex. I mean, the lady that's running the place, she flat out tells him, tells everybody, throw everything, everything to the wind get down to business and that's what they all do you have made basically a massive orgy that's not really a writer's retreat but you know hey everybody's going for it they're all drunk they're all kind of i guess high on their lust for just one another in general and these people don't even know each other but it is what it is in between there he does meet a woman that he connects with her name is angelica by the end of the book, he ends up falling for her. It's a great little intermingled love story mixed in with a ton of absolute violence and gore. And, oh my gosh, it's just incredible. When I mentioned in my little teaser poster that one of these books kept me up, it was this one, The Grind House. The story behind the Georgina Hotel is just absolutely terrifying. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. That's something that I want you to read for yourself. Dive into it. Fully immerse yourself the way I did. Because I promise you, 
if you're anything like me at all and enjoy a true horror story, this one is one of the best that I have ever read. And that's saying a lot because I've read a lot of great horror stories. None of them have done to me what this one has done. Seriously, guys, I've been up for two nights straight. I can't sleep. But anyways, with that said, I hope you check him out. His name is Carver Pike. I've got several more of his books that I'm going to re read and review. And I really hope that you get the chance to look into him, give his stuff a shot, especially the Diablo Snuff book series. It's a great series, guys. Anyways, if you enjoyed this review, hit like, subscribe, keep watching. I will be back with more. Have a great night.